Yeah, boys and girls, it's Michael from MTG for a miniature painting, and these intros are getting out of hand. <laughs> and now we're on to uh, the second episode of uh, my molding and uh, multi basing experience. And I promised you guys that I will be doing the second mold with uh, resin or uh, polystyrene or some kind of stuff that becomes hard and uh, you can build with so uh, i did some testing i did some molding i was really really sick for a whole day and that was because i made a mistake and i am going to warn you guys for that mistake as well so this is not only showing off some really cool stuff this is also giving you a good warning when working with a resin or poly 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 stuff and it still really stinks in here so uh yeah I promise you this mold I didn't take out the uh, oh that was my hand hold on I did see blah, blah, blah. I didn't take out the um, the resin just yet so there is something in here see there is something in here and uh, yeah let's uh, hold on there you go um, let's uh, let's let's take it out I'm pretty excited this uh, knowing this this is my third uh, trial um, the resin which comes out will still be a bit soft so uh, don't shoot me down on that one I will put them out to dry uh, later on in the Sun or the wind or anything there is a really a lot of uh, testing all the three tests which I have done are outside and I'm all going to be using them in the multi basic project I will be doing for my ogres um, like I said, uh, they will be uh, done for my ogre project. I have just one base finished and I will be building about two and a half, uh, one and a half to two thousand points of Kings of War ogres for third edition. That having said, the moment where you've all been waiting for, let's pull it out and see what it does and how it became. So, from what I have already noticed, it comes out really really clean out of the mold as you can see right here you can just put your finger under it and it just pulls out and immediately you see it's still a bit bendy but the result is really 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 nice apart from a couple of bubbles it looks Pretty damn cool. I just put it right here. And we have another one. You just put your finger under it. Pull it out. That's the second one. And of course now the ambulance needs to come by. Yes. There's a lot of things you can help. There's a lot of things you can't help. So this is the second part of the wall. Then we have a big part here. There you go. This looks mighty damn fine, apart from the bubbles, which are totally my mistake. So there's nothing to blame on this, guys. Small one again. There you go. Some flash. Uh, savior of the universe. Yeah, that's a stupid job. <laughs> there you go. Another piece of wall. They're all going to be drying up like perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> Sorry for this. I am still a bit sick from the um, from the resin pouring and casting. And my biggest mistake, what I have done, is I'll uh, show you a picture right here of what I have. Okay, now, now you've seen the uh, picture. Uh, I need to tell you about the uh, the hazardous uh, reactions I got from the uh, uh, from the resin. I basically ended up having a really massive, massive, massive headache uh, that lasted until this morning when I needed to bring the kids to work at uh, the school. They don't work yet. I'm not into slavery, guys. 
Um, the, yeah, so uh, I came back and I really had the urge to uh, vomit all over the place. So um, I uh, didn't restrain myself and went all high wire all over the place, but you don't want to know that. Um, the moral of the story is uh, wear protected stuff and wear protected uh, respiratory masks, wear gloves and go as far as the house uh, will allow you to go. Uh, basically the air comes in and the, uh, the smell comes in and gets you still sick even when you're working outside. So um, do three things and that is wear protection, wear gloves, go outside as far as way. Uh, as, as, as the house can allow you and uh, wait until everything is set that, that's a good thing so don't be sick don't be like me don't be that stupid and I uh, hope to see you soon for the third episode which is actually building the base of a horde of ogres hope to see you soon May the dice be forever in your favor. And uh, subscribe, like, share, uh, comment. Uh, you can't rate anymore, but do it anyways. And uh, see you guys next time. On to episode three of building a multi-base. Thank you very much.